I hear you talking, talking about premiums, talking about things that should be in the tech tree. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to War Thunder. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a talk. And I don't normally do something like this, but honestly, for realsies, I just, I'm very emotionally attached to this game and I know I'm not the only one, so here I am as your volunteer youth pastor to give you some perspective on what's coming to the game. Now a lot of people are talking about, let's see if I can alt tab, can I do it? This! <laughs> the XM1 in its two versions that's coming to the game and there have been some very good points brought up in a very mature way by people like Tiger Frost, a little bit to the less part mature, but Tiger Frost, you'll, you'll be familiar with his content. Um, you'll know what I'm talking about, I should say, if you're familiar with his content. The Scottish Koala, we're moving up in the maturity level here, <laughs> where he gives uh, a little bit more of an overview of what this means, that a premium Abrams is coming to War Thunder. And probably the best as far as perspective, being the European Canadian, always brings a bit of maturity uh, along with historical references. And I'm mentioning these people because they're going to bring up the things that I've been listening to. And I'm just going to launch directly from where they left off. So, the big deal is that this appears to be a top tier MBT coming to the premium line. What does that mean? Well, it means this, right? <laughs> War Thunder Reddit, you know how to make me smile. But what it also means is my first reaction to this is, well, looks like I'm still avoiding top tier. <laughs> it's going to be a bunch of people buying in to very high ranked vehicles because they're awesome. And 50 bucks is doable if you just, you know, if you play this free-to-play game, you're like, wow, I like this. I want to drop some money on it. Well, there's a big old package you can buy. And uh, Allahu Airlines here <laughs> with his obvious uh, meme name. I wouldn't necessarily want him to be my pilot. But he gives a great overview of what this means from the perspective of an experienced player. And I think he's right on the money. So as I was saying, let's give them something to talk about. How about bias, bias, bias? Anybody still watching this? Okay, so read this. You guys see where it is? It's what everybody's talking about. These articles are going to give you a starting point for where my talk's going to take off. Now, I'm going to bring up some points that I haven't heard brought up, and that's the only reason I'm making this video. Um, that, and I wouldn't mind a ton of people coming to check it out. So, share it with your friends. <laughs> um, I'm actually not really big about growing the channel. Let's get into the meat of the conversation. So, XM1 coming to the game has caused a huge controversy because now it looks like people can buy into top tier. That would be the case if it wasn't. And let me... I, I didn't look this up. Hold on. <laughs> Let me find it here. That would be the case if it wasn't for this. By the way, Centurion AVRE is also going to be a rank 5 premium for Great Britain. Uh, this could be good for them or terrible. Uh, at a best case scenario, it might be like a little bit higher tier KV2. Uh, worst case scenario, they up tier it to sit alongside things like the XM1 and it gets torn to pieces. <laughs> Now, this is the Type 90, the first top rank vehicle that is being introduced in the upcoming, what is it, 1.79 update to the game. And to make things brief, you can of course look this up for yourself, and I highly recommend you do if you're interested in these things. Uh, it has mobility roughly comparable to the Abrams that's currently in the game and the one that's coming. What do you mean? This is basically confirmation that the M1A2 Abrams is coming to the game. That is the combat Abrams, the famous Abrams, that has made such an impact on 
tank battles in the modern era. It has mobility and armor that are roughly comparable to the M1A2 that is not in the game yet uh, on a level that would destroy anything that's currently in the game. This is the new top tier. That means that the XM1, which is roughly comparable to the M1 Abrams, is no longer a top tier tank. That's just the way it is. It's very high tier, but it's not going to be top tier from the looks of things, and I think that's the, that's the loophole that Gaijin is using to get that tank out to the public, is that tanks like this and the M1A2, which is basically confirmed by the presence of the Type 90 coming into the game, will change the top tier. It will encourage experienced players to push into top tier as quickly as possible, thus building more revenue for Gaijin, and it will create a black hole just below top tier where there's a bunch of new players and experienced players don't want to be there unless they want to rack up a bunch of kills and be part of unreliable teams. Things that are brought up and I, I, I've I, moved on. <laughs> They're brought up in that article by Allahu Airlines and the videos by above. Scottish Koala, European Canadian, Tiger Frost, and probably tons of other people that I don't watch. No offense to them, I just don't have the time. I've, I've distracted Tank Toddler with food and I'm trying to record while she's eating, so pray for me. <laughs> anyway, I'm not a bad dad, I promise. Let's keep going on. So something to keep in mind is point number one, sorry for dragging on by the way, this is the new top tier. The XM1 is, is a very scary vehicle for what it does to the meta of the game and in sheer performance and price tag, but it is not going to be top tier because this is the face of the new top tier. More vehicles to be announced no doubt. Oh, by the way, did I mention that in real life, this tank has a three second reload time thanks to its advanced auto loader? That might actually come to the game. That's a game changer. So, would this tank be afraid of a bunch of M1 Abrams and XM1s and T64Bs? Probably not. This is the new top tier. So, to keep things in balance, uh, XM1 is going to be a very powerful tank, probably too much performance for a new player to the game to handle. But, it's going to be like this situation right here. Now, the M46 Tiger Premium has been in the game for ages, and it had great mobility for its tier decent armor that's not effective enough against the tanks it's going to face, and a reasonably good gun that didn't have the penetration to perform at its tier. In, in a realistic scenario, this is the same equivalent as the XM1 when it came to the game. It was very close to top tier, but not top tier could not quite perform at top tier except that its mobility and and powerful punch if you could punch through the armor gave it usefulness in the hands of an experienced player when i first got this tank i was so bad with it that it's still one of my most played tanks uh win rate is not because of me all right that's not me winning matches 322 deaths, 322 tank kills, and you know what? That's counting a bunch of AI kills that used to be a thing. I did not perform well in this vehicle. If you look at other vehicles that I played, like the T92, uh, yeah, that's still pretty bad. <laughs> Wait a minute, am I not good at tanks? <laughs> Maybe. But... When I bought this tank, I was new to the game, and I could not make it work. And I knew it was because it was a high-tier vehicle, and I was new to the game. And that didn't bother me too bad, because I understood that. Now, people are not 
all going to understand that. Especially, you know, a lot of the younger players to the game. And it's going to burn them out. But that is a difference having something around this level when, you know, this would be top tier back in the day. A lot of these didn't show up at all. You know, this against Tiger 2H is basically what top tier used to be. Mouse, 105 Tiger, and where is it? IS3, IS4, right? These are things that would destroy you. Today, things are different, and people don't worry about how powerful these vehicles are because there's a new top tier. That's the same thing that's going to happen with this upcoming patch. Update, you might say. Top tier is going to get pushed up to a significantly higher power level. It's really going to be a lot like jets are now, to where 8.0 jets just get, look at these stats, 571 top speed, just get stomped by 9.0 jets, 681 top speed, climb rate 38.8, .8. climb rate 22.2. .2. If you're familiar with aircraft, these stats mean that this will never beat this in the hands of an experienced pilot. But if you're new in this, you can get stomped by that, and that's where the imbalance comes from. That's why it's not a good idea to create a top tier premium. See how there's no premiums over here? The premiums are here. Now when we get to army, the premiums are getting pretty close to top tier. 7-7 seven, seven versus, you know, here's your first top tier at 8.0, 8.3, 8.0. This can live in the same playground as this, but not this, right? There, somebody in this has very little chance against this. When this gets pushed out, this is going to have very little chance against this and its equivalents. There's a new top tier coming. I've sort of belabored this point a little too much, but that's, that's the main point. And then the other one is for everyone that's coming to the game for the first time on Xbox One, you know what you're going to get. If you buy a high tier premium, you're getting into high tier battles and it's got a $50 price tag. You better be invested in the game before you pay that much money into it or you're just a foolish fool <laughs> and a fool and his gold are soon parted. Um, that's all I really have to say at this point. Guys, I hope you enjoy the game. I hope you don't let these things affect your emotions too much because I know that I care too much about this game and that's just the way it is. I'm a passionate man, but as a martial artist, I know it's also important to be balanced. Now I'm going to go feed my baby. Guys, have a great time. Bye-bye.